Hello dear students, uh, uh, today we are uh, having the next topic of biochemistry that is uh, human cell of course uh, subtitle plasma membrane. As I told you in my initial videos regarding plasma membrane that it is a lipid bilayer and uh, of course it is responsible for protection of uh, certain organelles of cell, it is responsible for semi permeability, I, I mean that uh, plasma membrane and uh, there were other uh, fun functions. Now we will be moving towards uh, the uh, chemical composition of plasma membrane. As I told you initially in uh, my lectures that uh, that is introduction to biochemistry. In that lecture I told you people that uh, biochemistry actually uh, deals uh, with the chemical composition of uh, living organelles or we can say living cells, living tissues. So among uh, living cells, uh, there are certain organelles. Among them, uh, one of the organelles uh, uh, is actually that uh, plasma membrane. So now we will be moving towards the chemical composition of plasma membrane. As I told you that plasma membrane or cell membrane is uh, found on the outer covering of uh, cells. So these uh, membranes, that is plasma membranes, they are actually uh, made up of uh, lipids, uh, proteins and carbohydrates. So, if you just look towards the structure of plasma membrane, it is a lipid bilayer. In this lipid bilayer, in my previous video, I have just explained the structure uh, quite extensively. So, try to watch uh, those videos as well. So, these are the lipid uh, molecules or we can say these are the phospholipids, polar heads and non-polar tail. I will be coming towards uh, these uh, structural uh, components of we can say plasma membrane that is phospholipids. And of course, in between them, there is a uh, space and there is uh, another layer of phospholipids, uh, uh, of course, uh, upside down. So let, uh, let us start uh, the uh, chemical composition of uh, plasma membrane. So plasma membrane is uh, made up of uh, macromolecules or in other words, biomolecules. We call these three as biomolecules. So these three are actually the biomolecules which are found in the plasma membrane. Over here in this structure I have only, only show, uh, shown that uh, uh, lipids, mole molecules of lipids, not proteins or we can say uh, carbohydrates. But uh, uh, the reason is that uh, uh, plasma membrane or cell membrane is mostly made up of lipids. Anyhow, so cell membrane or the chemical composition of cell membrane is lipid mo most abundantly. Then proteins and of course then carbohydrates, molecules of carbohydrates are also found. Now these three molecules uh, or biomolecules are found in cell membrane or plasma membrane in isolated form or in pure form and uh, in conjugated form such as glycoproteins for example glycolipids we can say. So these uh, are the conjugated forms and uh, as such you can find uh, proteins molecules uh, we can say purely protein and uh, carbohydrates as well as lipids. So they are found both in conjugated and uh, non-conjugated or pure forms. So let's come towards first component or chem first chemical component of uh, cell membrane that is lipid. As you know that uh, lipid is uh, one of the biomolecules it is made up of fatty acids. Lipids are made up of fatty acids and fatty acids are uh, long uh, chain uh, having a long chain of carbon and they are similar towards the structure of carbo carboxylic acids as they are possessing a final uh, functional gro gr group that is carboxylic acid. So now lipids are uh, actually fatty acids. Fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated. So as you know that uh, over here uh, these uh, structures are actually lipids. So the first component of uh, plasma membrane is as well we can say uh, lipid. So li lipids are actually known as fatty acids or in other words the monomers of uh, that uh, lipid is actually the fatty acids. So fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated. Among the saturated uh, fatty acids in this plasma membrane or cell membrane, the 50% uh, we can say composition is uh, saturated fatty acid and 50% unsaturated fatty acid. The 50% per saturated fatty acid, uh, the carbon number uh, actually uh, we can say most of the time we can say the carbon number is from 16 to 18. So those fatty acids which are having carbon uh, 16 to uh, 18, they are most of the time uh, found in the plasma membrane 
and uh, they are actually saturated among the unsaturated fatty acids unsaturated fatty acids uh, can be archidonic acids they can be uh, linolenic acid or they can be linoleic acid so unsaturated fatty acids are these three most of the time archidonic acid linolenic acid and linoleic acid they are also found in the plasma membrane so if you just uh, look towards the structure of fatty acids uh, they might be saturated or they might be unsaturated okay now let's come towards the structure of fatty acid after that we'll be moving towards the we can say the other component that is proteins and carbohydrates so let's uh, start so as i told you that uh, uh, fatty acids uh, can be we can say saturated or unsaturated so these are the fatty acid uh, shown in the form of we can say phospholipids or polar and nonpolar tail uh, polar head and nonpolar tail containing structures now look this uh, specific structure is chemically such like this so if you just look towards uh, the skeleton of uh, this specific molecule or phospholipid it is uh, the skeleton this black is the skeleton and these are the branches which are coming out of this skeleton so the skeleton of phospholipid or the lipids which are found in the plasma membrane the skeleton is actually glycerol molecule glycerol is one of the molecules which are containing three carbons on carbon number first that is ch2oh carbon number second there is again c double bond o carbon number three there, there is again ch2oh so now this specific structure this three carbon containing molecule is known as glycerol now there is actually substitution in this glycerol how now look this is for example carbon number first now look be attentive this is carbon number first this is carbon number second this is carbon number third so now carbon number first is having a phosphate group this is carbon number four second and third so this black uh, we can say portion of this specific molecule or this specific phospholipid is actually the glycerol so carbon number four second and third on carbon number four there is phosphate group this is po4 minus 3 po4 minus 3 so this po4 minus 3 or in other words we can say this valency deficient in a, in a sense this is the phosphate group so this phosphate group is providing it polar head this is the head of this molecule now look this uh, these two both of them are of course uh, containing in the head so glycerol molecule black and this uh, blue color is phosphate molecule now uh, on carbon number second and ca carbon number third carbon number second and third there are fatty acid molecules they are fatty acid molecules so now look this fatty acid molecule is a straight chain this is banded this is banded now this straight chain is saturated fatty acid one of the saturated fatty acids and this banded uh, we can say in a sense uh, when we are uh, bending our leg so this uh, banded leg is actually unsaturated fatty acid you can just uh, uh, look over here that uh, in, in this entire molecule you can find a single we can say double bond but in case of uh, this uh, fatty acid there is no double bond so once when there is the appearance of double bond on that specific place where there is double bond there will be flexibility improved or we can say increased flexibility this flexibility is uh, shown in this specific structure so this is one fatty acid this is another fatty acid this is one leg this is another leg got it and this is the head so the head of this phospholipid is phosphate and uh, of course along with that glycerol uh, skeleton or we can say glycerol molecule and the uh, tails of this specific molecule two tails or we can say two legs the legs are actually fatty acids some are saturated some are unsaturated so, uh, so in a in a sense we can say this phospholipid bilayer is made from head and tails so head is actually phosphate it contains phosphate along with that of course glycerol glycerol and in the tail there are two molecules of fatty acids there are two molecules of fatty acids so uh, uh, we can say that the phospholipid bilayer is made from polar head along with that non polar tail so this head is polar 
this head is polar and this tail this uh, green color they are non polar by polar i mean they are possessing char charges they are possessing charges negative charge got it and over here there is no charge so in other words in other words we can say that this polar head uh, portion of plasma membrane is uh, diverted towards aqueous medium now look over here there are two we can say aqueous medium one uh, on the upper uh, portion one in the in inner side in other words ex extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid so extracellularly there is a polar there are uh, polar heads so there will be aqueous medium and intracellularly there are polar heads again there will be aqueous medium and in between them there is we can say lip lipo uh, we can say philic portion we call this portion this specific portion is lipo philic or we can say lipid loving this is lipid loving or we can say non polar portion and this is lipophobic lipophobic or in other words we can say they are repelling the molecules of lipid so these uh, are uh, some of the structures which are involved in the plasma membrane so once more i am recapping this topic uh, regarding uh, the structure of lipid it's quite important uh, regarding your subject of biochemistry so be very attentive dear students now look this is phospholipid uh, these are the molecules of phospholipids if you just look towards the structure of phospholipid the head of phospholipid will be uh, made up of phosphate along with that glycerol molecule and the tails or we can say the legs will be made from saturated and unsaturated fatty acids saturated and unsaturated fatty acids and uh, the, the saturated fatty acids are straight uh, legs in a sense and unsaturated fatty acids are a bit banded now let's come towards other fatty acids so these are the fatty acids saturated now look saturated and unsaturated fatty acids uh, these are of course uh, the types of uh, lipids so now look the, uh, the topic was chemical composition of plasma membrane and we started from lipid got it and in lipid there are sub we can say classes first is fatty acids as we just uh, watched uh, uh, a few moments back now comes uh, glycerophospholipids there are other conjugated lipids they are again conjugated lipids and uh, these are lipids uh, which are containing cholesterol we can say nucleus now look glycerophospholipids uh, they are certain uh, uh, lipids which are containing glycerol along with that phos phosphate group and lipids as i told you like uh, we can say a structure similar to this structure so these phospholipids are of uh, three types phosphotidyl ethanolamine this is one of the glycerophospholipid and phosphotidyl choline this is another and phosphotidyl serine so these three are collectively known as glycerophospholipids so as i told you that we call entirely we can say generally speaking we term them phospholipids now phospholipids are of different types phospholipids are of different types for example phosphotidyl ethanolamide phosphotidyl choline phosphotidyl serine or we can say that glycerophospholipids are there we can say family name okay now comes uh, next uh, uh, other type of uh, we can say lipids sphingolipids Sphingolipids uh, uh, are sphingomyelin, cerebroside, and gangliosides. Now, these three types of lipids, which are found in the plasma membrane, they are mostly found in the nerve cells. They are found in the nerve cells. That is, in your central and peripheral nervous system, or in other words, in your brain, spinal cord, along with that, those nerves we can say such as cranial and spinal nerves, which are coming out of your cranium, or we can say your brain along with that your spinal cord so in nerve cells uh, most of the lipids are uh, titled as spingolipids among spingolipids uh, the classification uh, uh, system is that uh, mo most of them will be spingomyelin some of them will be cerebrocytes other will be gangliosides got it so the, these are still another lipid types of lipids okay now comes uh, these uh, cholesterol molecules as i told you initially in my uh, previous videos that uh, there are certain cholesterol molecules there are certain cholesterol molecules which are embedded which are embedded in this uh, specific we can say lipophilic uh, environment of uh, uh, 
fluid mosaic model or we can say phospholipid bilayer. These molecules, these green molecules are known as clostrol. They regulate the fluidity of plasma membrane. So uh, in a sense, we can say that among the chemical composition of uh, plasma membrane, lipids are making up most of their, uh, their uh, portion, that is the portion of plasma membrane. And lipids are of, we can say, four types, fatty acids, glycerophospholipids, sphingolipids, along with that cholesterol. So these uh, four, we can say, classes of lipids are making up the plasma membranes or we can say cell membranes. Now the point is that uh, I've written it fluid mosaic model. If we just look towards this phospholipid bilayer, why do we call it bilayer? We call it phospholipid bilayer. Okay, now what does it mean? Uh, as I told you, phospholipid, this is the molecule of phospholipid. So in a sense, we can say this one molecule, if it, I just write it inside a box, so we can say, eliminate it. So this uh, one molecule, uh, which I've shown in this box, this is known as phospholipid. And the structure or chemical structure of this specific, we can say molecule is such like, like this, which I've uh, drawn over here. Now, this is a phospholipid phospholipid so this uh, a number of phospholipids will just uh, line up and they'll make one layer of uh, plasma membrane and in downward we can say there will be still another layer of uh, we can say phospholipid so this is one layer of phospholipid this is another layer of phospholipid in between them there is uh, we can say brief uh, space so this is one layer so this is uh, one layer and this is another layer so we call it bilayer by means two so phospholipid bilayer phospholipid one layer phospholipid second layer so we call it phospholipid bilayer now this uh, structure is known as a fluid mosaic model it was uh, proposed by uh, singer and uh, nicholson two scientists singer and nicholson in the year 1972 so in the year 1972 these two scientists that is Singer and Nicholson proposed this structure that actually the uh, biological membranes or we can say the plasma membranes are made up of phospholipid bilayer and we call it fluid mosaic model fluid mosaic model and uh, they are possessing certain we can say degree of flexibility certain uh, degree of fluidity and uh, they allow some of the chemical substances while, while restrict others and uh, they also proposed all of the functions we can show the characteristics of uh, these uh, uh, biological membranes or plasma membranes which we have uh, studied in our previous videos so the, these were some points uh, regarding uh, this uh, plasma membrane let me tell you one thing more that uh, there is a term we call it uh, transition transition temperature TM transition temperature uh, Singer and uh, Nicholson uh, uh, model that is fluid mosaic model is proposed on the basis of temperature that is uh, they said that uh, uh, transition temperature is that temperature in which there is disorientation in the structure of uh, these molecules this was this was one of the short we can say uh, note so just uh, memorize it and just uh, try to get this concept regarding transition temperature. What is temperature? Temperature is the degree of uh, hotness or coldness. So whenever there is a, we can say, rise in the uh, mercury, we can show in the temperature of any uh, environment, the biological membranes will just, uh, the molecules of biological membranes will be disoriented. Now they are in orientation or synchronized manner. So after the change in temperature, there will be disorientation they say that transition temperature temperature will increase for saturated fatty acid. I mean that those uh, biological membranes which are possessing excessive uh, numbers of uh, saturated fatty acids, they'll resist, uh, we can say, higher temperatures as compared to those who are, uh, which uh, are possessing uh, unsaturated fatty acids. So, so this was a point regarding fluid mosaic model. So these were some points regarding plasma membrane and of course this was the first topic that is lipid chemical composition of plasma membrane 
and uh, in my next uh, lecture i'll be uh, focusing on the proteins different proteins of plasma membrane so keep watching my later videos so till now that uh, our topic regarding plasma membrane and of course the first uh, point that is lipid chemical composition of plasma membrane is over and uh, in uh, uh, ahead or we can say later videos we will be uh, looking forward towards different proteins and we have studied uh, some of them uh, that is the integral and uh, surface uh, proteins and of course receptors and others so keep uh, watching my videos uh, till then uh, take care Allah Hafiz